fucking grandma. I didn't even look. God damn. Well, good afternoon, Tac Nation. This is Tac Water coming to you from the streets of Edmonton, where apparently little old ladies decide to just turn out in front of you for no fucking reason. Eesh. Anyways, so, today on the TAC Moto channel, we're going to be heading to the new Echo Cycle location here in Edmonton. For those of you guys who don't know what Echo Cycle is, it's the place where they sell Kawasaki, Aprilla, and Triumph. And I think there's another brand as well that I can't remember off the top of my head. MV Agusta, that's the one. They also sell the MV Agustas there. And I know they've just recently opened up a new building. And uh, I am on my way there to take a look. What's been going on? Well, a whole lot of nothing except for work. I do, uh, if you guys have been watching my channel, regular watchers will know that I did get a job driving, class one. I'm actually taking groceries up to Fort McMurray to the camps up there. Ah. And as fun as driving a big semi truck full of groceries, 30 some odd thousand pounds, I, I don't know, I think. I don't know how much it weighs. It's heavy, I know that. It does not compare to the power and the enjoyment you get from riding a motorcycle. Oh, just something about it. Something about riding the bike, twisting that throttle here in the, uh, the engine as it goes. Oof. Such a good feeling, especially when you got a nice day like today. Nice, bright, and sunny outside. Yeah, the only drawback is the length of time it takes to do these deliveries. Oh, average so far 18 19 hours per day, six hours of driving each way, and then on top of that, you've got to do the actual deliveries. Of course, it doesn't help. Now we got a lot of delays when we go pick up a trailer. Sometimes they're not done loading. Oof. Waste an hour or two there. Going up to Fort McMurray, they still have a lot of wide loads going up there. And I don't mean the fat oil chicks. I mean wide loads of equipment and gear and stuff. It's now been, let's see, what was it? April. So May, April, May, June, July. Four months. Yeah, it's been just over now four months since I was laid off at my previous employer. And you know that saying, the grass isn't always greener on the other side? Well, it can be true, but in this case it's not. The grass is definitely greener on the other side. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time off. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing something new. And what's coming in the future, I'm sure I will thoroughly enjoy to be positive as well. Need to make some changes in the old TAC nation. Much like the United States. Who I think, I'm going to call it right now, are going to elect Donald Trump as the next president. I'm calling it. I called it a long time ago. When people were saying Trump will never get it. Trump will never get it. Trump got it. Trump has accepted it. And I, for one... I'm going to say, I'm going to put it out there, Trump's going to take it. He will be the President of the United States. Thank God, I can't stand that Hillary bitch. Ugh. I know there's some of you guys who watch my videos probably think, hey, I don't want Trump to win. Or, Hillary is the shit. Fuck that. Well, you have your problem is, and... Pardon me if I'm looking around. I'm looking for photo radar here and cops because they hang out here a lot. Because there's a little bit of construction, so I gotta slow down to 60. That's right, Mr. Pickup Truck. You speed up, you get pulled over by the cops. All right, guys, so I think we've now arrived at Echo Cycle. Not the best place with all these rocks. There it is. Hopefully they're going to be 
paving this a bit better soon. But let's see what we got here. This is the new building. Mm, there's a new Kawasaki. Well, guys, here we are at the new Echo Cycle location here in West Edmonton. Kawasaki Triumph. They're so new, they don't even have their sides finished yet. So we'll go in and we'll take a look at what's going on. Whew. Oh, yeah, this is way bigger than the old place. Wow. Looks pretty good in here. Triumph Tiger, a few Tigers, different colors. Actually, they have all the colors here. 800, Thunderbirds. Take a look at all these bikes we got. Street Triple. Not my most favorite looking bike, especially that front end. I'm not really a big fan of it. Try up 675 with an aero exhaust on it. Not bad. Some of the old retro bikes, the Bonnevilles. Whew, getting warm in the helmet here. It's another 675 Daytona. Looks good. Lots of bikes here. Accessories, dirt bikes. There's the MV Agustas and the Aprilas over here. The Dragster R. The Agusta F3. I know they have an F4 here somewhere. There's a Brutality 800. More dirt bikes. Kawasaki. There's the Versus. Get a good look at all this stuff here before they come over and start asking me to take off my helmet and shit. <laughs> oh, the ER6N. 636 over there. ZX10s, the 1000 CC Monsters. Mm -mm -mm. I like those new bikes. The Aprilas here. Yeah, I got some nice ones. Got some really nice bikes here. The new Vulcans. My girlfriend really likes the Vulcan. Smaller one, though. Aprilas. Moto Guzzi. Oh, yeah, they sell Moto Guzzi's. I forgot about that, too. Here's the RSV4RR. This is another bike I want to give a shot to. Yeah, looks pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to take off the helmet, and we're going to see what else is going on here and have some chats, and we'll come back. We'll be on the bike. I will talk to you guys in a minute. Well, guys, that was a quick tour of the uh, new Echo Cycle location out in West Edmonton. Uh, 212201 Ave, I believe, is the uh, the address for the facility. And uh, another one doesn't look before she tries to turn out. Uh, and I know the uh, facility is a very nice, very large area. Uh, they got a lot of bikes. Uh, they specialize in the Kawasaki, uh, Triumph, MV Agusta, and the Aprilla models of motorcycle uh, which I know I don't see enough of those in the Edmonton area out here on the streets so uh, if you guys are in the Edmonton area definitely go check them out uh, they're a very nice facility I spoke with the owner uh, he assures me that the uh, the service of his customers and clients is top priority uh, he even built the facility specifically uh, for his customers because uh, there was a lot of issues at the old uh, location with space and parking and numerous other issues but uh, the new facility is very nice very appealing do keep in mind if you guys go in there in the next uh in the next little bit uh there is still some construction going on on the outside so uh watch yourselves there is some uh, vehicle heavy equipment stuff running and uh, keep your eyes out but otherwise it's a very nice facility 
go check them out. In the meantime, I'm going to swap over my carrier back to Bell because Wind Mobile sucks. But in the meantime, boys and girls, ride safe, be safe. Watch out for all the fucktars out there. You know the ones I'm talking about. <sighs> Brutal. Ugh, hate that. But uh, like I said, in the meantime, boys and girls, ride safe. Jack Moto out.